Okay, welcome to the Ferrosphere. Seems simple enough. What are we looking at? Inside is some ferrofluid, a uh, special dilution. Actually, less than half of the dilution is ferrofluid. And let me turn on the lights for you really quick and let you see what it is we're looking at. We're looking at a four inch completely hollow glass sphere with a few milliliters of special solution at the base of which is an LED ring light. This is created by Mike Palazzala, an electrical engineer. What we have here, and this can be scaled up to any size, and what can be done with this, let's investigate that in the upcoming days. But let's take a look at this wonderful invention by Mike Palazzala. What do you think? Now, even the ferro cell has never done justice unless you actually have one in your hands. But, I can assure you that this particular invention gives you a complete 360 degree view of the magnetic field. Now, this sphere is completely hollow. Now, I know what you're thinking. You can actually see the ferrofluid solution. It is not, like I said, it's less than half ferrofluid. In the base of this 4-inch glass sphere, which is, oh, about a third of a millimeter thick, and you're thinking, well, I can see that, you know, the, uh, it's been swished around the inside of the sphere. Now, this sphere has not had the fluid swished around the inside, like swishing mouthwash around your mouth. It's not been swished around with this fluid now for going on six minutes. So, so far as reactivating, if you will, this spherosphere. This is magnetoholography too, by the way. Okay, there's going to be upcoming science, there's going to be upcoming inventions from this principle, magnetoholography. There's magnetic holography, magnetic resonance imaging. We have a strong magnetic pulse interacting with molecular cells, the geromagnetic frequency that is actually settable and tunable on a magnetic resonance imaging machine. Now, I've said many, many, many times before that simplicity is divinity. It does not get any more simple than this. This is as simple as it gets. Now, here you can see the plane of inertia along this 2-inch magnet. Now, let me carefully put it back here because the table it's resting on is metal. Let me actually grab another magnet. Let me show you too. <clears throat> Let me reactivate this. Not that I have to. Now I've coated the entire inside of the ferrosphere. Now let me grab a three-quarter inch neodymium iron boron cylinder. And there we go. Let me open up the aperture just a little bit here. If you could see this in your hands, if you think the video is stunning, if you're actually able to see this directly head on, and if you're actually able to see this in your hands, you would be amazed. As I told you, my friend, my rather rich associate, he's not an associate, he's my friend, he's much older than me, I've never seen him so shocked as when he rushed over here and saw the ferrosphere. I've never seen this man in 30 years be so shocked as he was when he saw this device. Now he actually has a ferro cell. I mean, he knows about all my studies. He knows about the um, the ferro cell, and he knew about uh, this device. That uh, he immediately rushed over here to take a look at it. I'm going to be doing additional upcoming videos on this, and also laser demonstrations, where a laser is going to be shown through the sphere, and you're actually going to see the magnetic field as the laser passes from one side of the glass globe that's very, very lightly coated with a special ferrofluid solution, and how that interacts with the coherent laser radiation. Additionally so, check out the next video. Now, you know what the ferro cell is. I'm going to show you a ferro cell that is infinitely more sensitive using the same solution, and infinitely better resolution. Before on the ferro cell, 
it took quite a while for the image to develop, the really, really fine image details to develop. Let me actually grab a ring magnet. I, uh, a, uh, here we go. Quite a while for the ferro cell image to develop. But on this new ferro cell, as you'll check out in the latest video, the one after this one, you're going to see something rather amazing. I wished, and I'm going to make more videos, I've just been insanely busy today, that you could actually see with your own eyes if you're actually able. And of course you get a different view. If you're looking at it from this direction, you're going to get a different view than if uh, you were, someone was standing on the other side of the sphere. Now, like I said, this could be scaled up or scaled down. This is a four inch sphere. Let me turn on the lights again. You can see how simple this is. Simplicity is divinity. Let me grab the two inch neodymium iron boron, two by two by one inch neodymium. Which of course I can stand back further with this one. I need to actually coat this in black tape so it's not so reflective. Here you can see the plane of inertia. Now these are only using white light. Look at that. This is only using uh, white light and LEDs. Something else very, excuse me, very wonderful happens when you use uh, RGB LEDs. You could probably guess what that is, especially really powerful ones. I'm going to be showing you that in the future days. I'm sorry that I was so, so, so insanely busy today that I've only had time to make a short video. I know I did that quite a build up to the ferrosphere invention here, but... I assure you, you have not even seen the beginning of the potential of this amazing thing. Now, <clears throat> I used to have a uh, a lava lamp back in the day. I think it would take about 30 minutes for that thing to warm up. What do you think about something that gives you true, scalable, to any size, holographic view of the most fundamental principle of the universe? You remember back when you were in school and you used iron filings to view a magnetic field? Now we have true magnetoholography. We're actually able to see in real time the only electronics that is feeding this thing is the power to the LEDs at the base. Do you understand how simple this is? This is technically, remember a lava lamp was a glass tube with some liquid and some wax paraffin in it and a light bulb. This is even more simple than a lava lamp, and certainly far more educational. <laughs> I'm not saying this is actually a viewing device. I, I, I can imagine how much the crystal rubbers would actually uh, love this uh, ferrosphere. We're talking about true holographic real-time viewing of an actual magnetic field in a hollow, did I repeat that? Hollow sphere. Did, did I mention that it was hollow? No. Let me use the other magnet. Three quarter inch cylinder here. There's some things that are a lot harder to see that you actually have to have this in your hand and set up with it close to your face. It's not going to damage you since it's only fluid in a glass sphere. Special fluid, it's not merely ferrofluid. If you're interested in uh, grabbing one of these ferrospheres, uh, just drop me a line. And I'll give you uh, update info on how to acquire the ferrosphere. Mike Palazzolo. Now, Tim Vanderelli, who created uh, the ferrocell, he let his patent expire. He's a close friend of mine that uh, is the inventor. He's been a friend of mine now for uh, well over two years. Uh, we're very close, even though I've actually I would like to go visit him in Pennsylvania because he's in really bad health. He purposely let the patent expire on the uh, ferro cell in January because he wanted other people to create it. Now this is something in the exact same genre, but wholly different, obviously. This glass sphere is completely hollow. Um, if you're actually able to, 
and it's hard because you actually have to hold it directly in front of your eye and look at it and it's kind of hard for the camera to see it you'd actually see a completely three-dimensional holographic ball I can assure you what you actually see in this video is only the surface of what you're actually able to see if you had it in your hands up close with your eye gazing into it you would actually see the magnetic flux lines the plane of inertia the phase shift and especially with the RGB LEDs now we'll do that tomorrow I've just been incredibly busy tonight to be able to get to that incredibly busy me a break now remember the last time I switched this around how many minutes has it been since I switched the ferro uh, fluid uh, dilution around inside the sphere you can see it is still completely active completely active you spend a half an hour before even having to reactivate this, even longer. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is a simple first step. And uh, let me turn the lights on so you can see how simple the device is once again. Uh, first step and I'm going to show you a lot more but please stay tuned to the next video where I'm going to show you a much more magical ferro cell that is extremely sensitive and extremely reactive so please watch the next video you're going to really like it I hope you like this now and you see in the bottom here, we have simply have a ring of LEDs. And this, it's that simple. Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Bye.